Mr. Men and Little Miss Storybook Collection. Today, let's read Mr. Clever Flies a Kite. One blustery day, Mr. Clever called at Little Miss Neat's house. What perfect weather for flying a kite, he said to her. Won't you join me for kite flying on Windy Hill? You can tidy up your garden later. After much persuasion, Little Miss Neat agreed. She ran inside to find her kite. As you can imagine, the kite was perfectly ironed and neatly folding. Such a perfectly neat kite could only belong to Little Miss Neat. I am so very, very clever to have built this clever kite for myself, boasted Mr. Clever. I have made it out of a map so that we'll never get lost. How very clever I am. Lots of friends had gathered on Windy Hill. Mr. Greedy had the most delicious looking kites. How greedy. Mr. Mean had made his kite out of an old vest. How mean. Mr. Muddle had got in a terrible tangle with his kite. What a muddle. Not very clever at all, laughed Mr. Clever. I am so very much more clever than that. Everyone had beautiful kites. Everyone except Mr. Forgetful. He had forgotten his. How forgetful. It wasn't long before the wind got even stronger. The kites flew wildly into the sky and soon got tangled up. Mr. Tall came to the rescue and worked hard to untangle them. Mr. Clever was far too clever to let his kite get in a tangle. Suddenly there was a shout, help! Poor little Miss Tiny, she was so very small and light that she had been blown away with her kite. Help me, help me! Mr. Small rushed to her rescue, but he was too small and light that his feet were lifted off the ground and he was lifted right into the air with little Miss Tiny. Thank goodness that Mr. Tall was there. Just then, Mr. Tickle arrived. Mr. Tickle was looking for someone to tickle. Mr. Tickle was looking for anyone to tickle. Tickle, tickle. It is not at all easy to fly a kite while you are being tickled. I am so very, very clever, said Mr. Clever proudly. I have an excellent idea. Let's have lunch. And Mr. Tickle can look after the kites. After holding all of those kites, Mr. Tickle was so tired he could hardly lift his arms. He went back home, exhausted, with only enough strength for... Can you guess, Clever Cogs? That's right, a tiny tickle for you.